All right, so this is going to be a three in one video. So as you can see, the level up quest pack is now available. I do have it and I'm going to show you how to do the week one quests in order to get the Dragon's Charge backblade. So that's part one. I'm going to show you all seven of the sky level up tokens. And we're going to do that in Team Rumble. Part two is going to see if these levels, because each token you collect will give you a full level. So we're going to get seven of them. We're going to see if those count towards this, the Chrome Punk challenges. So right now I'm at two. If all those count, I'll clearly be at nine. And then third of all, we'll do a quick mini review in game to see how she looks. We don't have any accessories, no pickaxe, no back bling, nothing until we unlock some of these from her quests. So let's go into Team Rumble and see how easy it is to collect these seven tokens. Sometimes they're all right next to each other. Sometimes they're not. So here we go. Let's take a look. Obviously, these are all sky tokens, so they're probably going to be up in these little air bases or the balloons. And they should show up on your minimap as an exclamation mark or some kind of blue symbol. I guess I shouldn't say that because I don't know for sure if they're going to be blue, but we'll see. Looks like a lot of people are doing the level up quest pack. Look at all these people coming here. Can't be just a coincidence. So, okay, it's purple. Sorry, it's purple. Is it on the very top? Uh, it could be. Let's go to the top. Okay, it must have been in there. So that was the first one. Luckily, we can do the next ones right away, and we're going to be able to glide right over to it. So this should be pretty easy if they're all up on these balloons. Yes, and it did count. Did you see that earn a count level three? It worked. So I think you literally have to go in these to collect them. Let me just take a peek in here. You in there, little buddy? Yes, it's down there somewhere. Oh my, what the? What in the world? Okay, well this one's not in there, it's right there. That was weird. Next one is down at Rocky. Okay. And if you weren't aware, if you glide up, deploy your glider, and then hit the middle again, you'll go even higher. And you can clearly see the icon. It is purple. It's right at the top of this rope. Ta-da! Next one is right over here. This is good. They're all right next to each other. And I've got the perfect zone. So this is the no sweat insurance balloon right in front of Cloudy Condos. Again, it's right at the top of this zip line. Okay. Now where are we going? So literally right next to it. This one's not even on anything floating. It's just right here on this D launcher. Nice. Can we grab it without going on it? Yes, we can. Number six, however, is at this balloon, so you may as well launch yourself over there. Looks like it's at the top of this balloon. And we got it just by going up. And then the seventh and final one looks to be towards the right. On top of the lighthouse. Wow. I lucked out immensely. Look at this. We got all seven in one single match without even dying. That is incredible. So now we'll get the awesome back bling. But let's just take a look at this skin real quick. So it's pretty much a drift type character with the ninja headband and some awesome animation. I love that inky effect. It reminds me of Lux, the 24 karat gold Lux skin, which was tier 100 plus drift. Lux plus drift equals this skin right here. The drift jacket, the Lux appearance. So we obviously can't do a full gameplay and review because we don't have the back bling, we don't have the pickaxe, we don't have the wrap. We got nothing. But it still looks pretty good. I saw a lot of people complaining that this is the worst one yet. I don't know if I agree with that. I think the 
butterfly one, the first one that we ever got was the worst. And then they got progressively better. So this one's pretty sweet too, though. I do like it overall, but it'll be even better once we get all her accessories. What? I just got someone else. Weird. Sir, what are you doing? Sir? Sir. Not today. All right, let's back out. Hey, speaking of Lux, there she is right there. On my loading screen. Nice. Well, hey, we got a gift here from Girly Gamer 1986. Let's see what that is. The thumbs up. Thank you so much, Girly Gamer. Nice playing with you the other day, too. All right, so there it is. The Dragon's Charge. Look at that. It's like Shenron. A mini Shenron. And, of course, it's reactive. I'm assuming that's the reactivity right there because you can turn that glow off. Pretty sweet. So I'll wait until I get all the accessories before I do a gameplay and review. But like I said, we just did a mini one in this video. That's awesome. And 100% confirmed, it does count towards the Chrome Punk goal. So you may as well buy the pack because you're going to get 28 levels essentially for free. Now you do have to wait a week at a time, but 7 levels in, what, 10 minutes? That's insane. That's a lot of effortless levels. I'll take it. So here's the back bling in the locker. Again, it is reactive and you can turn the reactivity off. And as you can see, there's no more glow. So that clearly is the reactivity in the first place. Amazing. I like that. It's clutching a lightning bolt. Incredible. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor time.